Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be doing quite a simple one, just a little practice exercise with this uh, component. It's a simple little piece with a few holes in it. Um, let's get into it. So let's take a look at what we are working with here. Um, there's a couple of ways you could do this, but what I'm going to do is just draw this back profile over there. Um, I'm going to start off by doing a rough drawing of what this is and follow that shape. So it's 140 wide and 65 to that point over there. I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane and we're just going to draw out the rough shape. I'll make that line with that and there we've got the rough shape I know this dimension is 140 millimeters add a horizontal constraint over there and on these two then I'm just gonna dimension this to there by 70 and it'll put it nicely in the middle for me I've got center diameter circles here. They are 16 millimeters. There's three of them. So we'll just draw those in roughly where they are. And then this will be dimension 65. So 65. Now this doesn't quite give us what we're looking for. So I'm going to add in these these are 19. I'm going to add these in and press enter. Now you'll see that we've got the centers of those arcs or of those fillets. So what I can do is resize this and it's giving me um, those centers and I've, I've made them coincident with my new circles. What we'll do now is just going to R for rectangle, two point rectangle and that's going to go down there. We'll dimension this to 16 millimeters and then another two point rectangle. This is going to be 19 wide and that will be it's 48 millimeters and we're going to add in half the diameter of that fillet over there. So 48 plus 12 and a half because it's 25. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So 48 plus 12.5 and this will be 19. So there we've got our rough outline. Um, it's not fully constrained so you'll be able to move around but just getting an idea of how to do this. I'm going to do a couple of extrudes now. So this first one it is 16 millimeters thick and I can see the arrows going in the wrong direction. So it's going to be minus 16. We'll go back and turn the sketch on. And then for these other ones, they go out to 50. So we'll select the profiles and go minus 50. And we've got sort of what we're looking for. I've got some fillets to do on the side here. So if we go back and look, those fillets are 25 millimeters. So it's a full round. So I'm going to add those in and then we're going to add the center line. I see it's got a 45 um, degree angle and then we've got this 24 degree, I mean 24 millimeter diameter through hole. So let's add those in. So we'll start off with our fillets, select the profiles that we're going to fill it and it's going to be 25. So there we've got a nice full round on there. Now we'll create a sketch not on that plane so let's just undo that on this face over here C for center diameter circle you can see it lets us follow that, that line up to the center there we can make that 24 millimeters finish sketch now I can select this profile and extrude it right through finish sketch so now we, we're almost there Last thing we need to do is put in that rib. So I'm going to create a sketch on 
the right plane because that's at the center because we um, we centered our, our drawing around the origin. I'm going to project this line here as well as that line there. And we're just going to draw a line and draw it past there and make this 45 and then move my line back until it snaps onto the projected line and finish sketch. So this doesn't really look like what we need but we're going to go in here and go create rib and we're going to select this profile to rib and there it's gone up to 19 that is i think the 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 width i need it's not specifically marked on the drawing so i'm going to go with 19 it looks about the same as those um, and it is symmetric so the total distance is 19. let's turn off our sketches that looks about like our sketch let's just go back and look at the, the drawing so this is our drawing it's just a random one that i found on the internet it's often fun to just practice these things lastly i want to just change the appearance so i'm going to push s for my shortcuts and type in appearance we can click on it and i like the anodized colors they kind of show up quite nicely um, but i want to make this purple similar to our sketch so you can just right click on there and edit and we'll drag this into that area and what do we have we've got a pinky purple that's exactly what we're looking for hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe have a look at some of the other practice exercises i've got in the exercises playlist and um, see if there's anything else that you can go through until next time bye